One thing I have not done, I've never pretended to be a police officer. <laughs> and 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 I've never I've never threatened a shootout with the police. Well, and now I have to respond to that. We are, we are, we are no, moving no, 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 on, no. gentlemen. I have to respond to that. And you know what's so funny? I am work with many police officers. <laughs> and at the same time, Mr. Pastor, Walker, Mr. Walker, no, no, Mr. Walker, no, no, no. Mr. Walker, Walker excuse me, truth, Mr. Walker. When please, he said a problem out of with respect, the truth, the truth I, I, I need here. to let you know, Mr. Yes. Walker, you are very well yes. aware of the rules tonight. Yes. And you have a prop. Yes. That is not allowed, sir. Yeah. I ask you to put that prop away. Well, it's not a prop. It, it this is, is real. And he said, I but, have a prop. I never want the law enforcement. It is considered a prop, Mr. Mr. Walker. Oh, yes. Excuse me, sir. Yes. You're very well aware of the rules, aren't you? Well, aren't he, you aware of he the rules? brought up the truth. Well, so let's talk about the truth. Th thank you for putting that yes. prop away. He is completely out of control. Odds are you've already seen that viral clip from the debate by now between Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker, specifically when he flashed his honorary sheriff badge on camera and then was subsequently scolded by the debate moderator because you're not allowed to bring props and you agree to the conditions of the debate before you get on that stage. So he insisted, right? that that was a real badge and it is a real badge to be fair now i initially thought that it was one of those badges from the cop play sets that you can get from the 99 cent store but actually it's a real honorary sheriff badge still doesn't have any power but i mean it's real in the sense that it's a physical object but does it confer any real authority onto herschel walker as he's implied multiple times no it does not. And as the New York Times explains, the badge was given to him in recognition of community service work he had done with the Cobb County Sheriff's Department, according to his campaign spokesman, Will Kiley. Quote, Georgia sheriffs were seriously handing out those badges like candy in a candy dish. J. Tom Morgan, a former district attorney in DeKalb County, Georgia, who was elected as a Democrat, said in an interview on Saturday, that badge gives you no law enforcement authority. He doesn't have the power to write a traffic ticket. Yeah, and I feel like that's kind of common sense. To be fair, the individual who gave him the badge claims that he did work with the police department there, uh, doing leadership training and whatnot with them. But it doesn't mean that the honorary sheriff badge that you have gives you any real authority. And the problem with Herschel Walker is that for a while now, he's been heavily suggesting, if not outright claiming, that he's a cop. He heavily suggested that he was an FBI agent before. He claimed that he had FBI clearance. It's just really weird and he refuses to admit that it's just an honorary badge now he was asked about this in an nbc news interview that was just released today which is why we're talking about this and his response here is um hilariously juvenile but totally predictable let's watch let's talk about that moment at the debate where you flashed the badge i don't yes. know if you have the badge with you but a lot of people are wondering what was that badge do you have that is a arresting legit authority? badge and what because, is it? Uh, that's a badge that I was given by a police officer, and I do have the badge. You have it. I, I, I carry it with me all the time. It's not. It's a real badge. It's not a fake badge. It is a real badge. Who gave you the badge? Uh, this badge is from uh, this badge. Now I have badges all over the, all over Georgia, even from Chatham County. I have from, wait wait. I have from Chatham County, which is the county, mm -hmm. which is the county, so uh, we can see it. which is the county from. Uh, you know, I have it upside down. Make sure it's right which is the county from where Senator Warnock is from. I have an honorary sheriff badge from that county. Would where's give me this the right, one from? This is from my hometown. This is from Johnson County, from the sheriff from of Johnson, Johnson County, which is a legit badge. Everyone can make fun, but this badge, give me the right. If I, Let me finish. If anything happened in this county, I have the right to work with the police and getting things done. Correct. You have the right to work with police, but not because of the badge, because again, the badge confers no real authority on you. Everyone technically has the right to work with police. That badge that he has, that he says that he carries around with him all the time, which is hilariously juvenile, by the way, that has as much authority as one of those junior police officer stickers has that we get when we're children in elementary schools when police officers come to talk to us or when they hand them out at parades. Literally, those stickers have as much authority as Herschel Walker's honorary sheriff badge, but yet he's claiming that it gives him some sort of special authority to work with the police in a way that other people can't. Again, we can recognize that 
you were recognized by the police department because you spoke with them and whatnot. You're a celebrity. They love those. But it doesn't mean you're a police officer, Herschel, and he wants us to think, desperately so, that he has some authority. So that's why he carries it around with him all the time. It's comparable to you carrying around a certificate of noteworthiness of something that you did. It's so bizarre and weird. It's like he's trying to get clout from this, and he's so desperate that he wants to be viewed as an authority figure that he carries around this honorary badge everywhere with him. That's so embarrassing. Take it home, put it in a plaque, leave it there. You don't have any special authority. Imagine thinking that only you have the authority to work with police because of this honorary badge, whereas witnesses who view a crime scene... Rather than telling police what they saw, they have to say, well, I wish I could work with you, but unfortunately, I don't have an honorary sheriff badge, so I guess I'm going to have to be deputized in order to share my account of the story. Like, it's so bizarre. It's so childish. But yet, this man wants to be a U.S. senator, and he may very well be a U.S. senator, but he's lying. He's lying, and he wants you to think that that honorary badge gives him authority. Again, you have no fucking authority because of the honorary badge. Herschel Walker put it away. Now, speaking of Herschel Walker's lies, he finally admitted to one part of the abortion story, but he's still not telling us the whole truth when we know he's lying. This is still a lie because she's the mother of my child. So you're going to see me a check or somebody giving a check. So that, that I'm saying it's a lie. Do you know what this $700 check is for? I have no for? idea what that can be for. Is that your signature I, on the oh, check, though? Let me see. It could be. And it doesn't matter whether it's my signature or not. Yes, that's my check. So he admits that he wrote the check. He confirms that that's definitely his signature. But, you know, he just wrote the check for something else. Definitely not for an abortion. I'm sure that the man who carries around an honorary sheriff badge, who heavily implies that he's a member of law enforcement, is being completely open and honest here when it comes to this story. I just, I just wish that... We were in a state in American politics where he would propose policy solutions and I could debunk his solutions and claim that studies show that X policy and Y policy is better than what he's providing us with. But in 2022 America, that's just not the reality. It's basically a race to the bottom where the Republican politicians who get the most notoriety they do so for saying really stupid things, flashing around honorary sheriff badges on television and going viral because of that, not because they had some impassioned speech where they talked about, you know, solving the issues in their state. No, it's all just running for uh, for office as like some sort of promotion project, which his own son even admitted that that's why he's running for office. And it's just so sad, like the state of American politics is deeply sad and depressing, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to try to extract whatever joy and entertainment value as I can out of it. Because if the country's gonna go down, you know, I feel like we're circling the drain, we're a dying empire, we at least owe it to ourselves to make fun of these dipshits who are taking over. And I hope that he doesn't take over. I hope that Raphael Warnock wins because he is infinitely more qualified and intelligent than Herschel Walker. But again, you know, I've talked about this with the Marjorie Taylor Greene debate. Republican Party voters, they don't care about whether or not a politician lies. They don't even care about the policies anymore. It's just, are you on red team? Okay, well, you're on red team. I'm on red team. You have my vote no matter what. And that's basically what people base their votes on, unfortunately. I wish that wasn't the circumstance, but it's the truth. I don't talk like a politician. I don't talk like a politician. I don't talk like a politician. I built a successful chicken business. I don't talk like a politician. I don't talk like a politician. I don't talk like a politician. I built a successful chicken business. I don't talk like a politician.